Good evening and welcome back to Travel Talk with Lori and Bill. Looks like Bill's becoming my new co-host here. <laughs> so shortly he'll be just Travel Talk with Bill. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> but Happy New Year, everybody. Yes, Happy New Year. And we are like fresh return from SeaWorld in Florida where we had a fantastic vacation, don't you think? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. So tonight we're going to be doing a lot of talking about SeaWorld. But first up, let's talk about we rented a vehicle from Rocky Mount Toyota's rental department. And it was a fantastic vehicle, a RAV4. We enjoyed so much having it to drive to Florida and back. And we didn't have to worry about, like I always worry about people denting your doors when you're on vacation or hitting your car, like backing into you and leaving. But with the rental car, we didn't have to worry about any of that because that was going to be Rocky Mount Toyota's problem if it happened. And that just kind of like took the worry out of traveling because we could just travel with no worries. But insurance. But insurance, that's right. <laughs> yep, but insurance. Yeah. Hey, so. you know. But it was a great running RAV4 and uh, got great gas mileage, handled like a dream. And the people at Rocky Mount Toyota at the rental department could not be nicer, do you think? I mean, they're no, just, no. They, they are treat just you awesome, like royalty. awesome people to deal with. Right, you know, you walk in and they, you feel like, you know, you are somebody in that dealership. So they're just a great place to do business. And I think if anybody's looking for a new car, hey, Rocky Mount Toyota's the place to go. That's where ours will be coming from. So we traveled to Central Florida to the middle granddaughter, and we had a wonderful time. But SeaWorld was just amazing to me. We lived there for 11 years and never went, but I always wanted to. And just kept just saying we were going, but never did. We, we, um, it was always Disney or Universal. But I'm very glad we finally did go. It, the park is just amazing. And the light shows that they had for the Christmas lights were outstanding. They were. They were. And the thing is, is that because of coronavirus, they were, it was limited people in the park. So we, we had an advantage to that. It wasn't like the normal Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's traffic. Yeah. But it was great, and, and we, we booked a resort package through SeaWorld. So we had the best of both worlds because we were able to get in. We had VIP seating for all the shows. Which were fantastic. Which was fantastic. And also, um, we were able to get ahead in some of the lines. Yes, yes. So that was a great thing. So we discovered a lot about SeaWorld. So we're going to be showing you some pictures while we're talking about what we were doing tonight. So I think you're going to enjoy it, and we're just going to talk about all the things we did in Central Florida for the week we were there. So let's start rolling pictures. Here we are checking into our resort, me and my granddaughter. We had to take a picture with a Christmas tree because everybody knows I love Christmas trees. So here we are checking in the resort. And this is at SeaWorld, one of the shops. Yes, one of the shops coming in. Yep, coming in. And it was just so decorated for Christmas. You just knew it was Christmas time at SeaWorld. That's the SeaWorld uh, lighthouse. Yeah, I enjoyed seeing that. Of course, I took several pictures of it, so you know that. But I enjoyed that. That was just awesome. And at night, the way the light shone, just like a regular lighthouse. Yeah. So we had a good time, time seeing that. And there's another shot of it. Yep. But the thing was, when we came in, you had to have your temperature checked. So you walked through this tent that had a temperature checker on it to let you know whether you had a temperature or not. Then they didn't even stop you. They, no, they, you they just had through. you walking through. And if, if you were, had a fever or whatever, they would pull you and... Pull you, pull you out to the side. Yes, they would. But it was very well organized how they had their setup over it there. Was, it was very organized. And then, of course, you had to go in and, 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 and get in line to, to get in with your tickets. But that was just amazing to me how quick it all went. Yeah. You know, we were not in line long. I mean, it just kept moving. You know? I think... It took us maybe 10 minutes to get in from the start so. of the line to the end of the I line. I think so. The advantage of staying at the resort we stayed at was we had free parking. And with that lander on, you just pretty much went right through, got in. Got to the reserve seating area. Yes, had, I had a great time. So, I mean, but the Christmas lights here again are, are being seen. They were just awesome to me. And with the park not being extremely crowded, it was nice to just walk around. But you could tell people were out, people were enjoying the holiday. You know, everybody was wearing their masks. We all wore ours. 
unless we were at one of the restaurants eating. Yeah. Which we did quite a bit of. Yes, we did. We did, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But here's another shot of, of some of the Christmas trees and the lights. That's on the lake. It was, and there was, I don't remember how many. It was just a lake full of trees. Yes, it was. And they were just all decorated up, and they all, the colors, were just and magical. And the fireworks they had there. Oh, yeah, the fireworks at the um, skating. Yes. The, the Christmas skating finale was awesome. And there's a penguin. Now, here's one of the things I definitely wanted to see. So the first night we were there, me and my granddaughter Alice said we had to see the penguin. So here is a penguin in the water. Of course, I knew she was going to say this. She wanted to take one home with her. Yes, she, she said, did. Can we take one home? Grandma Lori, I said, I don't think so. But here they are all like kind of like posing for us. And there's like 15 different species of uh, penguins there, from the emperor penguin all the way down to the little bitty ones. And they did, they did have some smaller ones. Yep. But like this guy here, to me, he's just like showing. He's he was posing. Big and bad, and he's throwing out his chest. And I am thinking that they get used to seeing people on the other side of that glass. Yeah. Just I mean, they probably look at us like we look at them, like look at him humans. But they were amazing to see. They're pretty awkward on land, but man, they can swim. And they were, they were just a. There was more of them than I thought there would be. I mean, they had a large number of penguins. Like you said, there was all, they, they were not all the same. No, not all, all the, the same, same species. Penguins, but they were just awesome to see. Now, here's some of the fish we saw. Yeah. My granddaughter needed to go in that big aquarium. See, I, I, I like to see those because some of them were like purple. That's right. I didn't find out the names. They just were purple. Now here we are seeing the sharks. Yeah, that's a black tip right there. So. so that was amazing too to see the sharks and of course you were behind this really thick glass. But they were amazing to see the sharks to me. Well, we were actually in a tunnel. Right. On glass, this a one. whole glass tunnel. It was four inches thick. Yes, it was. And you could see all the sharks. And there's a sand shark. And of course there you can see that glass tunnel we were in better. Yeah. Because of that. Yep. And they were huge, yes. just laying there. Yeah, they, they were, were about 10 they foot were long. huge. And my granddaughter's favorite thing, because she got to pet the uh, stingrays. Now she enjoyed that. She was like, oh, it was just the best thing in the world, pet the stingrays. And there's some of the Christmas lights. Yes, and I was going to say, and they were back to one of my favorites. Of course, I love, I enjoy seeing all the animals. But it was just the Christmas lights at night was just so amazing to me. And I think because of the year we've had and to be out in SeaWorld walking around at night and seeing all the Christmas lights and all the people there enjoying it was just an, an, an awesome experience to me. Yeah, yeah, it you was. Know? And it wasn't crowded at all at night. And to know that even right now you can travel to SeaWorld, Universal, Disney, and have a fantastic time. And not be very crowded, really. Right, right. I mean, you got to wear your mask, you got to have a temperature check, you got to abide by the rules. But I'm going I'm to tell you, to, to be able to go and just walk around and, and, and have somewhat of a normal experience. It was nice. And all, I like, there again, all the Christmas lights. I just can't say enough about them. I'm already thinking, boy, wouldn't it be good to go back next year at Christmas? And see how everything's changed. Now, here, here I am again, posing with the granddaughter. That's a huge, huge Christmas, Christmas tree, tree. Yep, uh, near yep. the entrance. And of course, we're posing with our mask on because you got to wear your mask. You got to make sure you're following the rules, wearing those masks. We did carry drinks with us quite a bit because when you were drinking, you didn't have to have your mask on. <laughs> well, and that brings us to the point of the refillable mugs. Yeah. You know, you start to thinking about these things like, you know, is it worth the investment? Should I invest in this? But what we actually did was we purchased the all-day meal plan, all-day dining plan, where you can eat every hour if you want to eat every hour. So you get like an entree, a side, or a dessert, and your drink. Yep. Okay. We also purchased the, the refillable, refillable drink cups. Because those refills, unless you're at a meal, are 99 cents. 
except on the first day. And the first, first day, day free. everyone's free. First day they're free. So that was just a, that was just an awesome way to enjoy SeaWorld, to enjoy the food. And we ate because we walked 17, 18,000 steps a day. Yeah. Now, here we are at the Outlet Mall at our favorite Italian restaurant with our son, Bat, and his daughter, Alice. And they were posing for me. We had pizza. Well, all you guys had pizza. I had Italian wedding suit, which is my favorite this Italian restaurant at the Outlet Mall, the one closest to Universal. The International Premium Outlet Mall. Yeah, the one off of International Drive. But this Italian restaurant has always been one of my favorites. So, of course, I knew when we went to the Outlet Mall that morning, we were going to have to do lunch at the Italian restaurant. So we did. And in just a moment, we're going to see the, the huge statue out front wearing a mask. But here it is. My favorite Italian restaurant in Central Florida at the Outlet Mall with their Italian wedding soup and pizza. Very, very good pizza. Yes, they do have excellent pizza and salads as, as well as all kinds of Italian food. Yep. They do. They have all kinds of Italian food. But of course, once again, I'll say my favorite is the Italian wedding soup. We all know that guy. We're and her second favorite is their chicken masala. Yes. Now, here is, is the chef statue wearing the mask. And I thought this was just so creative of the restaurant to put a mask on him outside. Yep. Chicken masala, you are right. Yes. Now you've got me thinking of food. Now, we had, we had left the Outlet Mall and gone to downtown Disney, and this was actually at... Disney Springs now. Disney Springs, yes, I'm sorry. It's hard to change old... old it, it'll always be downtown Disney, but it is Disney Springs. And you do get your temperature checked before you actually enter Disney Springs. You now, get that checked up in the uh, parking garage. Yep, but now this was at the, the, the big Disney store. Yes. The, this window. And I just love Big and Minnie and Christmas. And what was a trip to Central Florida without going to Disney Springs and getting a little Disney feeling? Here's the granddaughter again posing in front of that store with um, Aurora, Sleeping Beauty. There's the Orca Show. Yes, we enjoyed the Orca Show. It was just amazing to me to see how big the wheels were and how they, how they performed. But they would like jump right up on this ledge for the trainers. Yep. That, that was amazing to see. And the one thing they say is a splash zone. You best heed the fact that it is a splash zone because people got wet. Well, we were very fortunate because we were in the VIP seating. So that was why that resort We were up above the splash zone. Yeah, we were way up above the splash zone. Although the granddaughter wanted to say, I think I felt a few drops once in a while. But the orcas were so amazing to watch. There the was, what, a total of five of them? There was five. Yep. yep. Yep, there was five of them. So they were just amazing to see at that show. Okay, yeah. and here we are at Wawa. Okay. Of course, no trip is complete without the trip to the Wawa. Exactly, okay. We fell in love with Wawa's when we drove a truck up in New Jersey. Yeah. Because we could pull our truck actually into the parking lot at Wawa and go in and get there enormous sandwich. sandwiches or their bowls and their coffee cuban coffee so yes so we waited and waited and finally Walla came to central florida about two years before we actually moved back to north carolina where we don't have Walla. so no trip is complete to central florida without cuban coffee at the Walla. for us for us and the granddaughter has to get the chocolate chip with coffee she is a chocolate chip frappuccino. There she is with her. There hers. she is. And this was the last day. This was we were leaving. We have we have gassed up at Walla. She has got her chocolate chip with coffee, and we are heading back to North Carolina. And as you can see, there's the Disney Christmas bag peeping out from the side of her. So that was just a great trip. And there again, that car was awesome. Yes, and that's uh, Sesame Street Land, uh, guarded by uh, Bert and Ernie guards. It is. It is. And that was great. I think what we're going to do now is take a quick commercial break, and then we're going to see some more pictures of SeaWorld. Okay. What do you think? Sounds good to me. So let's take a quick commercial break and, and see a few commercials, and then we'll be back to talk more SeaWorld.
Pull back the shades on a blue sky, sunny day. Watch all the worries of the world just sail away. No ocean, keep your heart wide open. I'm too busy feeling this free. Toyotathon is on at Rocky Mount Toyota. We're celebrating the season with incredible deals on the vehicles topping your wish list. Right now, drive home any new Toyota and make no payments for up to 90 days. Or get 0% APR for 48 months, plus $500 holiday bonus cash on the 2021 Toyota Corolla LE, RAV4 LE, and Highlander. As always, we're proud to offer a complimentary lifetime warranty. Hurry in to Rocky Mount Toyota today. Missing our round four. Yeah, that that thing was. Of course, nice. we had it for two weeks, and now I'm missing it. Okay. Yeah. Missing that car. So fresh back from vacation, all full of Sea World. Um, seeing everything we saw in Central Florida, which was a great, fantastic vacation, and I think it was really good for us because we could see how even with mask on, in the theme parks, you can have a fantastic time. And now, whether you're thinking about going to SeaWorld or Universal or even Disney, now is the time to go. My son got me on one roller coaster and I was toast. <laughs> I, was really I rode the Mako and I was done. Yes. And yes. he rode the Mako and the Manta and after the Manta he says, I am done. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't ride the Manta with him. Well, that would, that would have been an experience, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah. You riding that one too? Yes, yeah. it would have yeah. been an experience. Yeah, I was I was pretty pretty bad off for about an hour and a half. <laughs> well, you both were. And it was like really, you know. 
and like a knucklehead, I, I made the mistake of riding the uh, Mako not too long after we ate lunch. Yeah, and that was a very nice lunch, too. Yes, it was. They have a very, very good barbecue, um, brisket, ribs, smoked chicken places there at SeaWorld, and it's just a fantastic. In fact, in a few minutes, we're going to see a slide because I took it where it shows the meal deal and shows the restaurant. Yeah. But we enjoyed the food. We yes. enjoyed the food and we enjoyed the entertainment. And the portions were really good size. Yeah, we, I we, was amazed at how big their portions were. We, we enjoyed being in the parks. Yeah. You know, it was all very, very enjoyable. Even the time we spent down at Disney Springs was really good. Yeah. To get out and be at Disney, that was a little bit more crowded. Yeah, I think so Disney too. Disney Springs was than it was at SeaWorld. Yeah. But I know that they are making sure that they restrict how many people are in the parks. So I think a lot of times you have some overflow down at Disney Springs. Yeah. yeah. And there has to be shops available there to shop in too. As we know, I have to go in the Christmas store, I have to go in the cooking store, as well as the big store, because I have to see everything when I'm at Disney Springs. Which will still always be downtown Disney to me, okay? Yeah. Yes. We even ate at the favorite restaurant there, Earl of Sandwich. Got to have your Earl of Sandwich and got to have their tomato soup. Just have to. And as you can tell, we are kind of food obsessed when we travel, okay? Yeah. Kind of food obsessed. Yes, we are. But we got to see the dolphin show. Yeah. The dolphin show was very, it was, very good. It was fantastic, which we have some clips of that. I don't know if we're going to show those tonight or not. But we have some clips of the dolphin show. We have some clips of oh, that's still, the, the orca. Orcas. This is still the orca. Uh huh. And of course, there she is at Sesame Street Land again. The other side of the entrance. Yes, and where the roller coaster there kind of got her. Because she's only seven. I think it was a little bit more than she anticipated it being. But she rode it. She yeah. rode it with her daddy. Of course, she would not ride the, the Cookie Monster drop. Now here we are, we're on the big thrill ride, the, the um, merry-go-round, the, merry the yeah. carousel, yes we did, we rode the carousel, Yep. with our mask on as you can tell, having a great time on the carousel, yep, that was us, that is uh, Bill's wife's here about, about speed of things. And there's my granddaughter trying to steal the Cookie Monster's cookie. Oh yes, that was, that was fun, that was fun, and it does actually look like she's going to take that cookie right away from him, so we did good for that shot. Yes, we did. Because she's wearing her Yoda mask. You notice I'm not in any of the shots because uh, I'm usually taking the shots. So. <laughs> yes. Well, not all of them. I was in that last one because it was a selfie. <laughs> I mean, I did take some of these pictures, okay? <laughs> but no, it was fun to see Sesame Street land there at uh, It's quite interesting. SeaWorld. Though. It was. And there was a lot of neat rides there, like the Cookie Monster drop that was an awesome looking ride i wouldn't ride it because i don't ride those rides but it, it was a lot of stuff for the younger kids it was to do. it was and they had something kind of like the teacups yeah that spin around there was just a lot of things to entertain them with there and we ate at that awesome pretzel oh my goodness pretzel restaurant right outside of sesame street land we had a cinnamon uh pretzel and matt had a uh pretzel burger yes. and that thing was huge it was and it had bacon and cheese and pickles yeah so all, that all wrapped in the bun yeah the yep. bun wasn't even separate well i really enjoy the pretzel dipping it in the cream cheese so there again as you can see if you're traveling and want to know about the food we are the people you need to ask okay we can tell you about the food all right we can certainly tell you about the food we can tell you about the food on most cruise lines, That's a lot right. of hotel chains. That's right, and also <laughs> Disney, Universal, now SeaWorld, okay? Yep. We are the people to talk to about the food and traveling, okay? And I worked at Disney and Universal in the uh, restaurant industry there. So, but we had a fantastic um, trip between Christmas and New Year's to SeaWorld. We actually spent New Year's Eve in SeaWorld up to about 9.30, which was amazing to me. We saw the, the Christmas... Um, show the skating the skating ice show and they had a huge firework display at the very end of that yes so that was just amazing Justin it was really good and at our resort we stayed at if you're on our backpack um, um, 
balcony, yeah. you could see um, Universal and SeaWorld. And on the front, out the front, you could see uh, Disney Springs and um, Epcot. Epcot. So, so we got to see a lot of fireworks that night. Got to see them, got to hear them, got to enjoy it. It was a fantastic trip. And if you're thinking about going to Central Florida, to Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, give me a call because I, I know all kinds of neat things that you're going to be able to get to have included right now if you're interested in going to the parks with limited capacity and enjoying yourself. Yes, yes. So we're going to leave you tonight with a nice little video about an island that is one of my favorites. Aruba. 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 And we'll be back next week to talk travel. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. We'll see you next Tuesday night for Travel Talk with Lori and Bill. Well, I won't be here next week. You have a co-host next well, we, week. Well, I may have a co-host next week. But anyway, we'll see. <laughs> but right. I might see you. So we, we shall see <laughs> you. Y'all have a great week. Next week.